Rodolfo Acosta was a Mexican-American actor born on July 29, 1920, right outside of El Paso, Texas, on the disputed territory of Chamizal. The land was disputed by Mexico and Texas because of the border of El Rio Grande. His parents decided to move to Los Angeles, where Rodolfo was raised and he graduated Lincoln High School and then later went on to study drama at Los Angeles City College and at UCLA. He would once in a while make appearances at the Pasadena Playhouse at 39 South El Molino Avenue in Pasadena. When he turned 19, he received a scholarship to the Palacio de Bellas Artes in Mexico City where he studied for three years. Then in 1943, after the U.S. joined World War II, Acosta enlisted in the U.S. Navy. During the war, he married Janine Cohen, whom he met at Casablanca during his North African campaign. After the war, he returned to Mexico and began acting in minor roles, making his debut in cinema in Miguel Delgado's Soy un prófugo, I am a fugitive, alongside with Cantinflas in 1946. No, del de Cacahuate me compra usted dos millones. Eh, de edificios como andamos, compró usted inmediatamente los cuatro que le dije ayer. Entonces, a favor de comprar otros dos que están juntos, porque los que compré se están cuarteando. He acted on stage, and in 1947, he was noticed in the film by Emilio Fernández and John Ford's The Fugitive. As small as the role may have been, he caught the attention of Universal Studios and was given a contract which led him to Hugo Fregonis's One Way Street in 1950. Come with me and I leave your gringo alone. During this time, his wife was to divorce him for his involvement with Anne Sheridan. He went on to cast in many more roles in American cinema and in TV series. Mira, Mercedes, no te pongas impertinente y ya vamos hablando la voz. Sácate rápido, vete a tomar una cuba por nuestro triunfo. But mostly as a Western antagonist, his roles were as bandits, outlaws, and Native American warriors all throughout the 50s and the 60s. ¿Dónde está Ya no lo tengo. Ave María Purísima. ¿Qué son lobos? Sí, wolves. Or maybe Apaches. Apaches? It is possible. Apaches making noises like wolves. Vaquero, everyone knows that the Apaches are still in their winter stronghold. Maybe yes, maybe no. With Apaches, one never knows. Are you trying to frighten me? Mi señora? You disapprove of what I'm doing, don't you? I have not said so. You did not say so, but you do. Well, if you disapprove so strongly, why did you come with me? My duty is to be with you. Even when what I'm doing is wrong? Even when you are wrong, Doña Victoria. You may go. Buenas noches, Senora Cannon. <laughs> It was in 1974, on November the 7th, that in 
that he died of cancer in Woodland Hills, California. He was only 54. We can now hear his echo over the hills on Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Hollywood Hills. Vamos saliendo y que nos vean muy contentitos. 